Well, a powerful, severe storm maker is heading in our direction, and you can see today and tonight where uh, the storms are the strongest. We have that enhanced risk across much of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas, and then a moderate risk, which is on level four out of five, is uh, a very high risk of seeing severe tonight, and that's what we are watching across Louisiana, Mississippi. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore, one of your 11 Alive storm trackers. I'm going to be tracking this powerful system as we head into tomorrow morning and then throughout much of the day, and we'll actually likely see two waves as these two fronts move on through. So you can see for this evening, we still have just that chance for general thunderstorms, a little better chance for isolated severe across far northwest Georgia, where you see the dark green color in the yellow that's slight two out of five and then you can see that enhanced over Mississippi and a little bit of western Alabama that's three out of five so that's all heading in our direction so Sunday starting early in the morning across northwest Georgia and then through the Atlanta area midday and into the afternoon we'll have that threat for severe storms here and it's an enhanced threat which means a little bit more widespread in terms of severe storm coverage. That's kind of how they base these levels. The more widespread the severe storms could be, the higher our level. So we are going to see more widespread severe storms likely tomorrow morning. So we'll see that level three across North Georgia, and that means numerous severe storms are possible. They'll be longer lived, more persistent, and possibly more intense. So that's what we're going to be watching for as we head through the day. Now we know the winds are going to be strong. We have a wind advisory that's going to be hoisted at 4 a.m. It'll be in effect all day tomorrow. Winds gusting up to around 35, some gusts even higher than that all across North Georgia. You want to secure any loose items around your home homes. You may see trash cans rolling down the street will likely have some downed limbs and power outages as a result of some trees coming down. So it's looking like our main threat here is going to be in the early morning hours, especially across northwest Georgia. But even here in Atlanta, our damaging wind gusts are going to start up in the middle of the night. So even starting 7 to 8, 9 o'clock, we could have those winds really starting to howl and increasing in intensity mid-morning and lasting through the early afternoon. That tornado risk, when you need to be most on guard, many folks will be in Sunday services, and we're going to be dealing with that threat for isolated tornadoes. And that threat will be kicking in around 7 a.m., till around noon. That will be the peak of the activity here in Atlanta. And then hail. We could see some very large hail potentially out of these storms as well. And that'll come during those same peak hours between around 7 and 11. But again, winds, damaging winds are going to be the main problem for us as we head through our Sunday. And some very heavy rain could cause some uh, concerns about flooding, flash flooding as well. And then a second line starting mid-afternoon through the evening hours, through mid-evening, we may see some more activity as the evening wears on. So there are those winds. This is early tomorrow morning. Perhaps you're heading out for Sunday services and it's really going to be gusting here up to 41 miles per hour in Carrollton, close to that in Dalton, 37 miles per hour on Sunday morning here in Blairsville and then continuing to gust throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So it's those extended periods of wind that we can really see those limbs and trees start to come down as they get weakened, especially if we get some heavy rain in some spots. So here is that power Powerful severe storm line that's going to be coming in as we head towards the early morning hours tomorrow. So this is 630 and we'll probably see it just start to move into northwest Georgia. This is 930. It will have already moved through northwest Georgia, but there still may be some development on the backside, but it'll be extending from about Fannin County down in through Carrollton right along I-20. That's 930. Let's take you into 11 o'clock and we can see those strong storms stretching right across Atlanta down into noon and into Troop County near LaGrange. So take a look at another model for you just to show you comparison. Timing is very similar here. 9 a.m. coming into Rome and Carrollton. So this one's a little bit slower than the uh, rapid refresh radar model I just showed you. Let's take you into mid-morning hours here, 1130. And boy, that line is extending from Blairsville down into Alpharetta, stretching down towards Peachtree City and into uh, South Georgia. And then that continues to move to the east. This is 2 o'clock, Blairsville into Duluth and Thomas.
Thomaston. Good news here in Augusta, things will have not moved in yet. So that if they can get that play in at Augusta, perhaps they'll be able to get everything finished before the really nasty storms move in. And that will likely be during the dinner hour there. So hopefully they'll be able to get their play in before the really nasty storms move in. And we can still have some isolated strong storms behind that first line until that upper level low really pushes out of here. We'll have that threat for some strong but severe storms during the evening hours. And then Monday is looking much, much better indeed. So here is a review of your timeline. Once again, that line of storms moving in tomorrow morning, severe storms in northwest Georgia and those gusty winds early tomorrow morning up to 35 miles per hour. By the middle of the day, we'll see the storms moving from Blairsville into Alpharetta, Atlanta, uh, down into Fayette County as well. 80% chance for heavy rain. We could have destructive winds, large hail, and also a lot of lightning as these move on through uh, during those mid morning hours by the afternoon. Uh, we'll see the isolated showers and storms continue here. It'll be more isolated by late in the afternoon and evening. Still quite windy, but by the time we get to the uh, the overnight hours, we'll start to see some improvement as that main line pushes away from us. So an 80% chance of heavy rain tomorrow, strong storms possible, lightning, hail, gusty, damaging winds. By Monday, it will be in its wake. So we'll see a very nice Monday and Tuesday shaping up, a beautiful Wednesday as well. And then it looks like towards the end of next week, we'll have to watch again for another round of storms coming in on our Thursday. Notice we have a couple of days of cooling behind the initial storm that moves in. We'll have temperatures down in the mid 40s to the mid 60s for much of the day Monday and then getting into next week as well by the weekend temperatures cooler too. So keep it tuned here to 11 Alive. We'll have team coverage for you all morning on Sunday morning with Chesley and Chris Holcomb, our chief meteorologist, as well as meteorologist Wes Peary. So we'll keep you covered here at 11 Alive.